Hello everyone, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. I've been so preoccupied with my planted tanks, um, I haven't really given an update on the mother of all my tanks, this beautiful 120 gallon saltwater reef tank. I've got it filled with everything I can, honestly, and I'm having a lot of success with it. You see an assortment of soft corals, gorgonians, zoanthinins, paleothoa, and all kinds of fish. There's a magnificent fox face swimming by us. Um, you see a coal tang. This is a solar fairy wrasse. That was a cleaner wrasse. I've got a Midas blenny. There he is right there. And moving over to the right, these are dendrophilia, I feed those by hand. And in the back I have a male and female clownfish. They, they have hosted that power head for years, even when I had the tank in our previous house. They lay eggs almost once a week on that power head, but obviously in a tank like this, um, those eggs are not going to uh, come to fruition. I've never even seen a baby clownfish if they do hatch, they get eaten promptly. I feed all these corals by hand. I enjoy it. I don't think of it as a chore. There's my newest wrasse. His name escapes me, but that pink and orange magenta is just lovely. This is a leather coral. I've got a number of pieces, um, different species, but super similar. These are Gorgonian. They're actually pretty easy to keep. Just make sure you get the photosynthetic kind, meaning that they get their nutrient um, from the light, not the water column. This is a torch coral. And in that family, I also have a Euphelia branch over there that's um, also a torch. And then the last kind of coral I can tell you about is these bubble corals. Um, fragile, but once they're in, they're super easy to keep. And that's my reef tank. I hope you like it. Everybody, keep your hands in the tank.